Hi guys, so it's me Sherelle. I'm back with another vlog so soon. I know guys So this is me being so authentic right now. I'm in my bathroom literally guys in my bathroom In my gown like being so authentic with you guys right now I said this vlog was gonna be about me being myself Showcasing my life and all kinds of crazy crap and this is me in my um, Mickey Minnie and Mickey Mouse gown being so authentic doing my little dance I cannot dance guys so that 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 needs to be cut right cut it <laughs> so anyway guys so the reason I wanted to do the video so so soon I really wanted to talk to you guys about some things about some things about some things am I cute or what people Ooh. So anyway guys, I want to talk to you about some things. So I was like, okay, I want to have so many channel ideas for this channel, but I really was like, so I really want to do this video about long distance relationships. And I'm going to flip this back over as I talk to you guys. Long distance relationships is the topic today for everybody. Long distance relationships. So I'm going to get started. I'm being very authentic again, as I said in my video. I really want this video to be authentic as possible, guys. Very authentic. Very authentic. And I don't know if you guys can see me or not, because this thing's not sitting up high enough. Now you should be able to see me. You should be able to see my beautiful face. So, I wanted this video, like I said, to be about long-distance relationships. Yes, guys, I'm filming in my bathroom. So freaking what? It's my private area. We're having fun. Who freaking cares? Um, this is just one of my many private places in the house because, you know, having a one-year-old and everybody in the house, you never get that, like, one-on-one -on -one time. So, the bathroom's, like, my little private place. So, I thought I'd film it here. Yeah. So, needless to say, I wanted to film about this because I'm in a long-distance relationship. My boyfriend is two hours away. Now, I know most people are thinking, like, that's not far. What is she talking about? Two hours is nothing. You're probably like, well, my boyfriend is in another state. And I get it, and I get it. And please don't attack me for saying anything about long-distance relationships. But in my opinion, he lives further from me. I consider that long-distance. He's in a whole other city, and I'm here. I think sometimes people find it hard to be in long-distance relationships because it can be hard. You get to the point sometimes where you're just like, I don't know if I can do this. This is so hard. I'm struggling, and I don't know if I want to do this anymore because it does get tough, guys. So really, this video is just me talking to you, giving you tips and things like that, and pros and cons of being in a long-distance relationship if you can handle it, and some people can't, some people can't. So I'll start off by saying, okay, I met my boyfriend a few months ago, okay, and uh, when we met, we just became really, really good friends. We have been talking for, like, a really, really long time, and I'm going to just be honest in this video because I'm like, what, what, what the hell? Why would I not? My boyfriend and I met online. Yes, he met online. Um, I didn't know who the hell he was. He didn't know who the hell I was. We got to know each other. And we just, you know, we, we started to like each other a lot. We would text every day, talk on the phone every day. And we really just started to like each other a lot. Um, I was like, you know, not sure where I was going. I admit in the beginning, I kind of felt like he felt like I was playing games because I didn't know what was happening with us because I didn't know if he was into me, if he wanted the relationship, if he didn't. Um, so needless to say, people, um, we ended up making it official, like, uh, I literally say a few, few months back, sometime last, it was sometime last year, a few months ago, let's say last year, we made it official. And I've been happy ever since. Um, my boyfriend, he's a good guy. You know, he really is. He is from a small town. And I'm from a small town. So that's what I like about our relationship. We're both from small towns. We come from good value families. We have, you know, mutual respect for one another. He accepts my daughter. And he's just all around the guy. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. But um, he genuinely is a good person. And those are the things that I I tend to, you know, just genuinely care about him a lot because of that, guys. He really is a good person. Oh, my God, I'm sorry, guys. Like, my daughter is crying her head off, so I'm probably going to have to pause this video and come back. I'm so, so sorry. Guys, 
Alright guys, so I'm back. I'm sorry, that whole video got kind of interrupted. Uh, my daughter was crying hysterically, so I had to attend to her, but I'm back. So, for the second part of this video, like I was saying, long distance relationships, they can be hard. It can be very hard. And sorry for the noise, it's my daughter. <laughs> had to bring her here with me, because if not, I won't get no filming done. Um, but, yeah, so... They can be hard sometimes. They really, really can. Because you'll be sad sometimes. You can't see the person. You'll be like, oh. You know, it happens. So I'm going to tell you like what I do. So sometimes me and him go a whole month and we don't see each other. Because he works nights and I work days. So it can get hard. And sorry, I'm chewing gum guys. Excuse me. So it can be hard. So we'll go a whole month and I won't see him and he won't see me. So that can be kind of tough tough at times so uh sometimes we'll see each other every other weekend if not every other weekend it'll be like once or twice a month but it can be kind of hard sometimes because you want to see the person more of course but to get through it guys you just have to make sure you're texting that person a lot talking on the phone a lot you know just do cute stuff like i sent him a card in the mail for his birthday which is really cute and he called me and was like oh i love it babe i like it or whatever just little stuff like i ordered him a pair of shoes sent it to his house stuff like that like he'll do little stuff for me like he'll buy me things or come to his house and he'll surprise me with little things and it's just the cutest thing ever but you have to be strong for one you have to make sure you can do this guys because a lot of people can't handle long distance and uh, the people that can't i know that it happens not everybody is built to be in a long distance relationship because it can get tough guys but those are the times that make me want it more because I couldn't see myself with anybody else. You know, he makes me happy, he makes me smile, he makes me laugh. He's a good person all around. But those are the things you do to get through the time. Also, FaceTime, which is weird because I have an iPhone and he has an Android. But what I do is I send him little cute videos and he'll send me the same thing or cute pictures or whatever. Or I'll see stuff like that. You know, and there's also Skype. Um, just also make sure you never lose that communication because once communication is lost, you can't get it back. Always communicate because that person being in another state or being a few hours away, you want to make sure you're always communicating because you use communication and things can get rough and that can end the relationship. So every day we make sure we text. Every day we make sure if we don't talk on the phone, we're texting. Texting on the talk on the phone. Just all kinds of stuff to get through the day. And then, of course, when we're together, we spend all of our time together. We usually are locked in his house or whatever. Or he'll come here to visit me and we'll be locked in my house. Because we want to have that time together because you don't get to see the person in the office. You got to make sure every moment counts. And that's really important. I know some people say they can't handle You have to see the person all the time. But I think sometimes away from the person is good, too. Like, literally, we went a month and then see each other and we came back together. And it was just beautiful because we had gave each other a break and because we were so busy. And we were busy with work and just other things. So I seen each other just not in, not in control at the time. So um, then we finally saw each other. We were all just happy because that time had passed a little bit, you know. And I know some people think she, your boyfriend or friend might be cheating. That's where trust comes in. You have to trust that person. You have to know in your heart they're not going to do them to hurt you. And don't, unless they do something wrong, then you can say, oh, I don't trust you. But if they haven't done anything to prove you wrong, you can trust that person. Um... Most importantly to me, if they talk about their friends with you, which he does, you, you talk about your, his family with you and people around him, then you know that he is doing the right thing, that he cares about you, and he genuinely wants everyone around his life to know. Same for me, because I tell everyone about him. Um, you just have to make sure that you put in the time. You know, when you, there are days when you have time off, and the person, the person has time off, you have to make sure that you go see that person and make time and put effort in. And you just have to enjoy every moment. Um, there can be cons. Like I said, the, dip, the biggest con in all this relationship is not getting to see that person. That's like the biggest thing. And then suspecting that you could be doing something. Like I said, but you really have to trust the person you're with and know that no matter what, that they're not going to do anything to hurt you. That's all you really can do. You, know, you really have to be trustworthy of the person. You have to know who you're with. Things like that. That's why I say get to know the person. Be friends with them for a long time and then get in a relationship. That way, you know nothing crazy is going to happen, which is what I did. Um, you really just have to know who you're with. Um, and it, like I say, it can be tough sometimes, it can get hard, but you have to keep going. You have to keep trying. You have to just do the right thing at all times. You know, it just, it just do what makes you happy. Like I said, long distance relationship is not for everybody, but you have to just really, if you want it, you will, you will try and you'll push at it and you'll succeed at it. And some people date for years and years from it, and eventually they end up living together. Some people don't. 
this is like my first really long distance relationship so sometimes I get kind of sad because I'm like texting him like I miss you I wish you were here or, I wish I could see you and for him it's different because this is not his first long distance relationship so it's a little easier on him because he's had other long distance relationships in the past so it's not as hard on him but for me it's my first one and it's like oh uh, it's hard but I'm, I'm getting through I'm getting through it <laughs> It's worth it than that. He also has this really cute dog that I like love so much. I think it's Batman. <laughs> That's his dog. And like I feel like I'm you get attached to somebody, you start getting attached to their dog, and then you're like, I can't leave either one of them. Like you just can't do it. But yeah guys, if you want to talk to me about long distance relationships, I'm here. You know, I'm willing to talk about it. If you have wanna do a QA about it and ask some questions, willing to talk to you about it. Um, again, if you want to know anything, you can also go to my Twitter. It's in the link in my bio. Tweet me, we can talk. Because um, I know a lot of people go through struggles with long distance relationships, guys and girls. So if anybody wants to talk about it, I'm definitely here. And trust me, it does get easier. And it can get easier. You just have to try and keep pushing, guys. You have to push and you have to want it. And that's the major thing that I can tell you guys, basically. Um, Again, this is Vlogs by CDH, so please watch my video, please subscribe, please like it, and if you want to, if you have any video ideas for me, let me know, drop it in the comments below, um, or like I said, you can contact me on Twitter and Instagram, let me know what you think. Again, guys, welcome to my channel, we're just getting started, and this is going to be fun. Thanks for watching.